Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me yet again. Uh, just as the video, as the title says, I'm gonna teach you how to make custom sections and blocks for your pages, collections, whatever it is. But we're primarily for this video, we're just focusing on what we did in the previous video, and we're gonna keep adding on to this page. Now, in the last video, I only gave you three files, right? And uh, well, most likely, if you downloaded it, you're gonna have this file as well. But I'm gonna teach you how I made this file, and we're gonna add video now. Now, uh, let's see here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to be adding the video option. And thankfully, the theme already has the video. And I'm going to show you a really, really, really quick way to do this. You know, you don't need to be a rocket scientist. If you can follow along this video, you, you'll probably be able to replicate this in other themes. I know it'll work with all the free themes that Shopify has. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the video section. But let me just close out of these because this was from the last video just a few moments ago. And we'll leave this open no nope, we won't leave that open we're just gonna we're just gonna open up our page hyphen sections under the sections area so under our sections and we're gonna go into page sections and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with just preparing and you know getting the theme settings ready so where it says rich text what we're gonna do is we're gonna do video we're just gonna copy this line paste it and what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace all of this we just could put in video, and again, we're going to put in uh, video. And let's make sure that there's no snippets called videos, because include means uh, you know, render the snippet. And now Shopify does have a new thing called render, uh, and include, I use include, you can use render if you want, but you'll have to do a few things, and I'll make another video on how to do that. For now, just stick to include. Um, so I, let me back myself up, don't use include. Uh, wait till the next video and I'll to, to explain to you why they're different and how they differ. Okay, so. All right, so yeah, all right. So there's no snippet called video, so we're just gonna call it video or viadi because I can't spell video, and we'll just hit save. And what we're doing is we're gonna we're gonna go and grab save. I said go. Yeah, we're gonna go and grab this file right here. We're gonna copy it. We're gonna bring it over into. I use Notepad plus plus because it's fun. All right, no, I just use Notepad++ because I've been using it for years. I don't use it for everything. I use Atom and Visual Studio Code, but for simple things like this, I use it. Excuse me for this. So we'll just get rid of this schema completely. So get rid of this, and what we're going to do is we're going to find uh, something that says Section Settings. We'll go here, replace Control H, and what it's going to do is going to bring a window up like this. And we'll just do block, period. And then we'll replace all. And replace 37 instances of section. So I'm going to copy this over. So copy that. Now, again, as every video, you can do Control A on, if you're on Windows. If you're on Mac, do Command A. And then if you're on uh, a Mac or Windows, or vice versa, if you're, on, <laughs> if you're on Windows, do Control C to copy it. And if you're on a Mac, do Command C to copy it. Or you could do it the old-fashioned way and right-click, copy, whatever you prefer. But I like to just teach you some new ways to save you some time. So now we're going to go into our snippets file. We're going to create video, video, and then hit enter, just like so. Then we're going to paste that in there. Hit save. Now we can close out of this, and hopefully this works, and I don't look like an idiot. So now what we're going to do is we're going to copy this schema completely, right? all the way down copy copy don't copy end schema just copy the text that's in between schema and end schema right click copy and then we're going to go to our page sections and i'm lazy so i like to just place it at the top so then just place it at the top like so and now we have to get rid of the presets so the way you can do that is you can click on this right it'll highlight where it ends so then i go here and right before this little comma, we're just going to delete all that because you don't need presets when it comes to blocks. Um, now, we're going to go all the way to the top. And if there's a class, I just like to replace it with the word type because you need that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to replace this with video. We're just going to change this and call it video. We're going to hit save. And most likely it's going to give me an error because I forgot to put a comma at the end, always. So, 
we got to go all the way back down because I'm terrible at teaching and find where we put the comma. And I don't know where I put the comma. All right, so now we got to put a comma here, just like so. Hit save. Any day now? Okay. Now hit that. We don't need this anymore. I don't, yeah, no, we don't need this file anymore. Hit okay. Now let's go to our customizer where we're editing our page. So let's refresh this because we made changes. I'll just hit save. I don't know what changes I made. Not sure. Now we're just going to refresh. Now again, this works on all free themes. Now it's the same, same concept works. Some things may be a little bit differently, but we'll get through. So now we're going to go down here. We're going to find our about page. And then let's go see if our new section works. Add video. There we go. Look at that. That's amazing. It's amazing, I tell you. Now you can go and use a free image if you want. Select that. Cool. We got a free image. Add S. Hit save. Let's go see if that YouTube video works. Oh, refresh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Our video works. All right, cool. It works just like that. So I'll do this again. Let's, let's, let's do this again. I'm going to show you more. So just so you guys are on the same page, I'm going to go through everything. So what else do we need? We got quotes here. But this uses blocks and it's a little bit more com too complicated for this video. Uh, yep, no, don't want to do that. What, what else? Uh, how about we do a map? We'll do a map. How's that sound? All right, so if you guys want to have a map, same concept. But let's go up here and copy. So again, like, like always, go and copy what's already there so you can save some time. Time is money. So when map will include the map let's make sure there's no snippets called map there aren't any that i see so now we're going to just call this map all right i like to kind of make this a little bit organized even though i'm not the most organized person when map include map cool we're going to save that and you can do this you don't have to do this in the order that i do it if you find a faster way that works for you I just like to go into the here and do everything in a certain way. Again, we'll get rid of this schema. Very large schema. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. So now, get rid of this. Control H. Now, because we had that in the previous file, we just all we have to do is hit replace all. You know, I tend what I tend to do is when I'm working on a client store and I have to create custom page sections or product sections. I do it all at once and I just don't have to keep typing it in. I just go in and replace all done. That's why I use multiple editors. I may be using one for one thing and using this for another. That's just how I work. You don't have to work that way if you don't want it. Here, control C. We'll go back to our browser. Browser, my Rodown accent right here. And we're gonna add snippet, call it map, create snippet, paste it, bam. Done. Now we can close out of that so we don't get messed up. And then we're, again, we're going to just go here, go all the way down. We're going to copy all this handy dandy stuff. Control C, or if you're on a Mac, do Command C. And then we're just going to place this at the top. And let's see if this presets there are. Again, you uh, highlight the little bracket there, go down here. And you can hold shift if you want to do that. And you click and it highlights everything. Amazing, right? Shortcuts are life. Delete. And we're going to go up and let's add our comma so we don't forget. Stop file yell at you. Now go here. All the way to the top and see where it's ending or starting rather. See where it's starting. There it is. So class. So. You type, and then we'll go in and add map, map, hit save, damn, look at that, didn't save yet, map five slow, save, asset save, all right, do it, all right, so now let's refresh, let's go add a map to this page. All 
Alright. So. Map. Hey, it worked, but I don't see the map. Oh, we need a Google API key. Okay. So, um... Well, that sucks. You need a Google API key, but you know, we're just going to add a cool, we're going to go on, you know, uh, maps.google.com. And we're just going to go and, oh, whoop, if I learn how to spell, I'll, it'll do me wonders in life. All right, so I'm just going to go here and I'm just going to highlight this here and make a nice image. I'm going to save this. Save as pick a bang during this video, download, hit save, folder here, downloads. Where are you? No, you guys don't see anything. Alright, so now I got my download my little image here. Yep, cool, cool stuff. And then we're gonna go here and we're just gonna drag drag and drop this there. 30 years old. Imagine that. And there you go. So we got our map. You, you, all you got to do is register a, uh, a Google Maps API key. Um, unfortunately, I can't supply you with that. You have to go register yourself so that way it's a dynamic map. Now, like in the previous video, uh, when I have these files for you guys, you'll have the option to adjust the margins top and bottom. All right? So if that helped you learn how to make custom page sections, I hope it did. Um, let me know in the comments below. I know I move a little fast. I'm trying to get better at this YouTube stuff. I'm kind of out of practice. Um, a lot of you guys know where I came from, so cool stuff. Um, but as always, guys, if you liked the video, please smash that like button. Don't smash it too hard because I actually can't afford to buy your new keyboard, like I said in two videos prior. So, you know, that's on you guys. So smash that like button with ease. And um, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. And if you want the files, you got to join the group to access the files. And Join the group. We got like 103 people in there so far, and you know we're here to help. Um, as a lot of you guys know, I'm going through some stuff right now, so I might not be able to answer all of your questions in the, the most timely manner possible, but I'll do my best. So thanks, guys. Till next time.